is Lisa. Welcome to Make It Monday. Today's project is another fancy fold that I'm going to teach you how to make. Now, this card actually opens in the reverse format. So let me show you how this goes together. I've gone ahead and I've cut out from the scallop circle die one scallop from Lucky Limeade cardstock that's going to coordinate with the designer paper. And I'm using the lacy brocade embossing folder for the big shot. Now you're going to notice that this whole thing doesn't fit in here very well. You're going to have a small area that's going to miss some design, which is fine. It's going to be tucked to the back, so it doesn't matter. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to adhere this circle to the inside. Remember the card is opening backwards. I've already put my designer paper on the top. Make sure that your textured side is upside down. And here you'll see there's a small area where I haven't gotten any texturizing on because it didn't fit inside the embossing folder. That's the side we're going to hide. We're going to go ahead and place adhesive and about a third of the scallop circle. Once it's been adhered to the center, go ahead and close it, making sure that your fold is on the right. Using your bone folder, I want you to score against the outside edge so that this piece will easily fold over. Now when you crease here, be careful with your bone folder not to crease too much that you flatten out the embossing that's on the scallop circle. On the inside, we're going to place a piece of trimmed down cardstock, and I'm using very vanilla and I'm going to place it in here. I've also pre-stamped some images you're going to see. I'm going to take my silver marker and I'm going to create a couple little strings here. My ornaments don't look like they're just floating in the air. This then hides the imperfections of the edge that's inside the card. And then to finish the outside, I went ahead, just like I did in last Monday's video, cut out another ornament from that wonderful ornament keepsake stamp set, added some rhinestones, and made a bow, and we ended up with this. So here's the final project. There you have it. Go ahead and give it a try, and I hope to see you back here next week for Make It Monday.